Okay, uh, I'm going to try to make this as quick as I can. So if it goes too fast, just rewind it and listen to it again. Uh, this is, video is on writing and solving two-step and multi-step equations from word problems. So let's get started. Okay, uh, here's some questions that you might want to ask yourself when you're solving these problems. Uh, and these will just be helpful to kind of get your brain thinking of how to convert the words into numbers and symbols and variables and things like that. What do you know? They're going to give you some information and you need to figure out what information is important to solving the problem and uh, determine what that is. What do you need to find out? Okay, they're always going to be asking you for mainly one thing. Sometimes they ask for more than one, but if they're asking for more than one thing, then they're all going to be related in some way. Uh, there's something on that down here in just a second, uh, right here. Anyway, what are some clues uh, as to what operations you should use? Okay, so sometimes you're going to get some verbal cues. Uh, most of the time, if, if there's a price involved, then you're going to be multiplying the quantity, or how many items, times the cost or the price of each item. Uh, and then you can other, look for other verbal cues, like discount is going to be in subtraction, and things like this. Uh, what can you make proportional to something else? Okay, sometimes things are twice as much as something else, or uh, you buy one and the next one is half off, or something like this. So they're going to be proportional to each other even if you don't know the first thing. Is there any information, or especially numbers, that you don't need? Sometimes they put in extra information that is not important to solving the problem, just to kind of trip you up. Be careful of that. It's a good idea to kind of make an estimate if the situation is appropriate. And then after you solve the problem, look at the final answer and see if it makes sense. In other words, check your answer. Okay, uh, there's a lot more than just these, but these are some kind of to get you started. Okay, these are some questions that you'll want to ask yourself to get you started on thinking about how you're going to turn a word problem or a real life situation into math with you know, numbers and variables and uh, an equation that you can actually solve. So the first thing is, what do you know? They usually give you some information. Hopefully they're going to give you all the information. And so it's good to uh, either write down or make a note of the things that, that you already know that they're giving you. And next you'll want to find out. Uh... Okay, here's the first problem that uh, we'll do together. Larry and George went to a baseball game and bought hot dogs. Larry bought two hot dogs and George bought three hot dogs. Their total bill was $17.50. How much was each hot dog? Okay, so notice a few things with me. First of all, there's this word two here, which represents a number. And even though the numbers are written here, this is a number also. So don't forget and uh, read through that and, and not look at that. Okay, it says Larry and George. They're buying hot dog. They're each buying some hot dogs, so we're gonna have to add up Larry's hot dogs with George's hot dogs. Uh, it says with the information that we need, we know the quantity is three and two, but we don't know how much each hot dog was. So we're gonna put our variable as x equals the price of each. Oops, each hot dog. Okay. So George, uh, Larry bought two hot dogs. That means Larry had two hot dogs times however much each hot dog cost. Okay, And this represents, again, Larry. And here is George's hot dogs. George bought three hot dogs. And we don't know how much each hot dog cost. So what this is saying for us is that Larry bought two hot dogs at X price. We don't know. And we're adding that to George's hot dogs of three hot do three each times the price we don't know, and we're setting that equal to their total bill of seventeen fifty. Now what we can do is uh, again these are just this is just representing uh, this is just representing Larry and George. We're not dividing by L, so don't be confused by that. Uh, but we do have two x plus. 3x gives us a 5x, that's 5 hot dogs total, equals the price of 1750. And now we're going to divide by 5 to find out what x is. And I believe that x equals uh, 350 or 3.5. So it looks like hot dogs were 3 
$1.50 each. If you go to a professional baseball game, they're going to be at least that much. And so Larry bought two hot dogs. His total bill was $7, I'm sure. And George bought three hot dogs. His total bill was, uh, what, $10.50? And so that kind of makes sense and checks out okay. Okay, the next problem is a uh, family of four went to Disney World. Sorry, not a Disney World, it's just Disney World. Went to Disney World. It took 12 hours to drive there. Parking was $15. The total cost of parking and the tickets to get in was $195. How much was each ticket? Okay, so, uh, well, let's see. First of all, how much was each ticket? We'll say X equals the price of each ticket. That's what we wanted to find out. Okay, what other information is here? A family of four. There's four people, so they probably bought four tickets. It's in words, but it's still important. It took 12 hours to drive there. Well, it doesn't ask us for, like, you know, taxi fare or uh, gas or anything, so we don't need that information. Parking was $15. The total cost of parking and the tickets was $195. So, basically, parking plus the tickets equals 195 well parking was fifteen dollars and we need to add that to the price of the or the, to the total cost of tickets if there were four tickets and each ticket was x dollars we're going to do four times x this gives us the tickets total this gives us the parking total this is the obviously the whole total. 4x plus 15 again equals 195. We're going to subtract 15 and we get 180. And 4 times the price of tickets equals 180. We'll divide by 4. We will get x equals 45. It looks like the price of each ticket was $45. Okay, last but not least, Susie went to a department store and bought three pairs of shoes. The first pair of shoes was not too expensive, but the second pair was twice as much as the first pair. The third pair of shoes were $5 more than the first pair. She paid with a $100 bill and got $3 in change. How much did each pair of shoes cost? Well, let's see. If she paid with $100 and she got $3 in change, that means the total she spent was $100. Minus 3 is $97. That's her total bill. And we have one pair of shoes, two pair of shoes, three pair of shoes. In this case, it's asking for each pair of shoes. So we're going to have three answers, but we don't know how much the shoes were. But we do know that everything is proportional to the first pair of shoes. So we're going to call the first pair of shoes X because we don't know what that is yet. Of course, it's going, the total bill is going to be added to each the cost of each pair of shoes. The second pair of shoes was twice as much as the first pair. So if the first pair cost X dollars, the second pair cost two times X amount of dollars. The third pair of shoes were five dollars more than the first pair. So if the first pair was X dollars again, then the third pair was X plus five. I know I'm going really fast but uh, you'll have to rewind and for the sake of time uh, we need to get, get this done. I have a limit on YouTube. Anyway, so this says the first pair of shoes was X dollars, the second pair of shoes was twice that much, the third pair of shoes was five dollars more than the first pair of shoes. The total bill equals ninety-seven dollars. Now we can combine like terms. X plus two X is three X Okay, 3x plus another 1x is 4x. So we'll write 4x plus, don't forget about this $5 here, equals $97. We'll subtract 5 from both sides to get 92 and equals 4x. Now we know how to do this. We divide by 4 and I believe we will get x equals $23. Now, you got to be a little careful because it says how much did each pair of shoes cost? Well, the first pair cost $23. The second pair is 
2 times 23, which is 46. And the third pair was $5 more than the first pair. So if the first pair was 23, the third pair is 23 plus 5 gives us 28. So here would be the three answers for the price of the three pairs of shoes. I know that is a lot and a mouthful. The more you practice these, the better you will get at it. Thank you for watching. Well, looks like okay, this will be the third and last example that we'll show right. for today. Okay, anyway, I'll do this. Uh, and this one's a uh, tricky one, so we'll read it through and see if it makes sense. Or 92 divided Susie by... Susie went to a department store and bought three four, pairs of shoes. 92 divided by four, sorry. The first uh, pair of shoes were not too divided expensive, by four. but the you second work pair that out, twice as much as the first pair. It's x equals 23. So... Now, are the we done? A lot of people would stop $5 here and more say than the first pair. 23, but the question asks, how much did with a $100 each pair, pair of shoes cost? $3 how and much change. Each pair of shoes cost how much? Careful. Did so the first pair, pair cost $23. Cost. Okay, now this is going to be several steps. The second pair cost two we'll times $23. It's going to be process and see if $46. First and the of all, third pair she bought Three the, pairs of the shoes. Now, the first in order pair to plus five, not get too be confused. I'm going to call this eight dollars. Okay, so the this a is a really B sloppy pair and C pair. There. These are not variables. Okay, so these are not variables. The I'm three just showing this are to represent forty-six. Eight. You can call these twenty-eight the, you know, and twenty-three. Seems know. reasonable. They all add awesome up to shoes, the total of brilliant shoes seven and the colorful shoes. Whatever to go with that. These are not variables. Just representing that there's three pairs of shoes, and we don't know. Let's see, it says the first pair of shoes were not too expensive. Great. So that doesn't tell us anything. It just says we don't know what that is. Okay. And the second pair of shoes were twice as much as the first pair. So this is two times we don't know what that is. And the third pair of shoes were $5 more than the first pair. So this was whatever the first pair of shoes were. This one's going to be $5 more. Now we have the first pair of shoes, the second pair of shoes, and the third pair of shoes. If you remember earlier on when I was saying some questions to ask, one of the things was see if you can put anything proportional to something else. Okay, we do know that the, uh, we want to find out how much did each pair of shoes cost, but they all seem to be the second pair, right? The second pair here and the third pair here seem to be proportional to the first pair. So if we can find out how much was the first pair, we can figure out how much was the second pair and how much was the third pair. We also know that she got $3 and change here and she paid with a $100 bill. 